What's up guys, Mike Hansen here and welcome to my kitchen. And today we're gonna to be making a protein recovery smoothie from a workout that I had yesterday. So yesterday I had this super intense workout and uh, it was a lower body. And today my glutes are super sore. And so I did my part as far as sleep goes. I slept well about eight hours. And today it's all about having my first meal of the day, which is gonna be this nice, smoothie with lots of protein in it and uh, I'll show you what else it's going to be so let's check it out. Generally speaking you want to start with the ice or whatever's frozen. Now I'll be making a smoothie for about a serving size of two people but I'll probably drink a lot of it and then just save it for later. Here comes the organic frozen banana. Kind of thawed out a little bit. Just want to pour the milk until it roughly gets to the same level as everything else. And if you find that it's too thick, then you'll just have to add some more milk or water. One of my go-tos, Justin's peanut butter. If you look at the ingredients, it's nothing more than dry roasted peanuts and palm oil, no added sugar. People say, why do you uh, use a fork to put in the peanut butter? But it's actually easier to get off than a spoon. So, and plus this peanut butter is so thick that a spoon will actually makes it much harder. Not that much harder. Mm. 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 I love peanut butter. When it comes to the protein, I go with the Pro Mix grass fed native California whey protein. It comes from a cow, and those cows are grass fed. It does have raw chocolate in it. It's minimally filtered for a higher concentration of omega 3 fatty acids. Naturally contains glutathione and immunoglobulins. Now, where does it get this chocolate flavor? Well, it actually comes from raw organic Peruvian cacao. So it is lightly sweetened. But if you do look at the added sugars, it is four added sugars. So that's a downside to this. But you have a ratio of total carbohydrates, eight grams, four grams of added sugars, and 25 grams of protein. That's per two scoops. It does have a tiny bit of fat, two and a half grams of fat, saturated fat, one gram, of, and of course, zero trans fat. I don't like that they add the non-GMO cane sugar, but I already bought this tub, so it is what it is. Generally speaking, adults shouldn't be consuming more than 25 grams of added sugar per day, and most people are way over that amount. Some good things about this protein that I didn't already mention, besides having all the essential amino acids, is that it's free of casein, it's free of gluten, it's free of soy, it's free of GMOs. There's no hormones that were given to the cows, no antibiotics, no pesticides, there's no artificial sweeteners, there's no stevia, and it's basically super healthy other than what I just mentioned, the added sugar. But it's only a little bit of added sugar, so it's not that big of a deal. Now, since my body's so sore today, I'm gonna go with an extra scoop of protein. Plus, it is a serving size made for more like two people. Now, the chia seeds. These little guys are the tiniest edible seeds around. They're indigenous to Central America. It's basically flavorless, and it's an absolute breeze to add to smoothies, as you can see. And it goes with just about everything. When these little guys get wet, they swell up and form a jelly-like protective layer around themselves, resembling a miniature ball of tapioca. That's why these things make for an excellent thickening agent, and they help to slow digestion, which is what you want. Chia has a bunch of the healthy fats, the omega-3 fatty acids, high in fiber, and high in antioxidants. And did you know that chia seeds contain eight times more omega-3s than salmon and five times more calcium than milk, three times more iron than spinach, and three times more antioxidants than blueberries? Next up is the organic raw cacao powder. The raw form of chocolate cacao is a phenomenal superfood. There's two forms of it. You have the cacao powder, which is what I'm adding now, and then the cacao nibs, which is what you'll see in a little bit. Cacao powder offers a stronger flavor and it's going to blend effortlessly into a smoothie. Cacao nibs will usually retain a small little crunchiness to them even after you blend them. Cacao has the most mineral rich superfoods containing calcium and iron and high levels of magnesium. Also has energizing and mood enhancing properties due to its mild central nervous system effect as a stimulant like coffee and it increases serotonin levels in the brain. Serotonin is that feel good chemical that helps support a positive outlook, helps support your emotional health, restful sleep, and much more. 
Cacao has the highest level of antioxidants, even more than ACE. It's also rich in polyphenols that help to reduce the bad cholesterol and support heart health. And guess what? It even protects the skin against inflammation. Organic cacao nibs loaded in antioxidants. I love it. And they give this nice chocolatey flavor. Oh, it's gonna be so good with that peanut butter. Mm. Ah, now it's time for the flax seeds. Part of the human diet for 7,000 years. These small, tough, and glossy seeds have a very mild, nutty flavor that kind of fades out of the background in most smoothies. Now to access the benefits of flax, it has to be ground into the powder, which is what I'm putting into my smoothie here. But some blenders have the capacity to blend those seeds and break them down so that those nutrients are exposed and therefore you can absorb those nutrients into your body. But if you don't want to take any chances, you can just buy the ground flaxseed and then pour into your smoothie. Flaxseed is one of the best sources of essential fatty acids. We're talking like omega-3 fatty acid here. And they help to keep the brain healthy and they act as an anti-inflammatory agent. And they're great for heart health and for joint health. These guys have tons of vitamin E and the flax is an excellent boost for healthy skin. Also, flax seeds, they're rich in compounds called lignans. L-I-G-N-A-N, which help to balance hormone levels, making flax a great anti-PMS food. Not to mention, these guys are about one-third fiber, so lots of fiber in there to help you have great colon health. Now, if you're not used to having a lot of fiber, eating a lot of fiber, I should say, you might want to take it easy and just, you know, go like a pinch of all these things because your intestines are going to be like... Ah, now it's time for the hemp seeds. Hemp seeds are harvested from the cannabis sativa plant, an industrial relative of marijuana, but without the THC. As you can see, these guys are small and golden color with a little green chlorophyll filled filament on the inside. They taste similar to sunflower seeds, and when they're added to smoothies, they give this sort of little extra creamy texture to the smoothie. And these little guys pack a lot of plant protein. And did you know that the protein that comes from hemp includes all eight essential amino acids? Hemp seeds are also packed with essential fatty acids, the omega-3 fatty acids, which are super important for the heart, for the brain, for your joints, and of course, for your skin. Now, although there is a tad bit of added sugar from that protein powder that I mentioned, there's really not much sugar in this smoothie. You have a little bit of natural sugar in the form of galactose that comes from the milk, but otherwise, not a whole lot of sweetness in this smoothie. In order to give those taste buds a little taste of sweetness, we're going to add some coconut, which is not sweetened. It's the unsweetened shredded coconut that we're adding here. All right, let's get blending. The cool thing about smoothies is you can take them and you can tweak them. You don't have to measure the ingredients, although you can. It's your preference. As you make more and more smoothies, you have more of a feel of how much to add or not add. You just have to play with it. And as you make more and more smoothies, you have a better feel with time. Yeah, I think that's gonna be just fine texture. Sometimes it's so thick that you gotta add extra liquid, whether it's milk or water, but I think that's gonna be perfect. So there you have it. There's my chocolate peanut butter banana smoothie that is super rich in superfoods with antioxidants. And it's gonna get you lots of protein with all the essential amino acids that you need to recover from that workout and keep those muscles and bones nice and strong and healthy. Mm. And hopefully get them even bigger if that's your goal. I love that. Chocolate peanut butter, no added sugar, tons of protein, tons of fiber, tons of uh, omega-3 fatty acids, super healthy. You don't get a better recovery smoothie than this. Mm. Mm. Damn, it's good. <laughs>